So let's check out this apparatus called Kipps apparatus. Now, I have a tiny thistle funnel on top. This opens up into a big globule. We call this the first globule. Now this H2SO4 does not directly go into the second globule that you see over here. It goes directly to the third. You see there's a tiny cone-like structure here. Yeah? It makes sure that the acid H2SO4 goes all the way to the bottom. Once it fills up the bottom globule, then it starts coming up to the second one. Why so much complication? I'll tell you, second globule has FES, yeah, a ferrous sulfide, the black powder. As soon as H2SO4 comes in contact with this, reaction happens and you have H2S which is produced. Now there's a stop cock on the side, I just open it and that's it, I get my gas. Really cool, right? If I close this stop clock, what happens? The reaction is happening, right? H2S, a lot of gas is being produced. This gas in the second globule, where the reaction is happening, exerts a lot of pressure on, well, the H2SO4. The liquid gets pushed out, there's nowhere to go. So it goes, it retreats into the third and the last globule with the flat end, right? Huh, what happens now? H2SO4 is not in contact with FES anymore. No reaction. Where does H2SO4 go? Well, remember that tiny thing, the cone-like structure? It goes back up into the first globule. That's the cool thing about this apparatus. I have a way of controlling the reaction by just closing this stop clock. That's why it's so awesome. And if I open it, H2S is released. What happens next? H2SO4, the, there's no more pressure pushing it down. It comes back up, reaction starts again. If you like this video and if you want to watch more videos like these, hit like and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy learning this way, download Byju's, the all new and personalized learning app.